Dwayne here. Phoenix Typewriter. Dot com. Got a Remy Scout. That's in for repairs, reconditioning, whatever I can do to make it better, is what I'm told. So right now there's no draw band. The string is just hanging here, it's, it's broke. So we gotta investigate that. Just for, um, this is a unique machine. It does have a left spool here. This spool says left on it. It's a pretty rare thing for that to say left. I think it's on there somewhere. Just can't see it on the camera. Has a secondary problem of it doesn't space with the space bar right here. So I use the space bar. So I'm going to hold the carriage. But it doesn't space when I press the space bar or type. Well, the basket has to be up. But if I move the carriage over to the center or about there, it does space. So something is strange there. It should space over here. But it only does there, so we gotta investigate that. I also have to investigate this letter B, I think it is right here when I lower the basket here. It stays up. It can be pushed down, but so I'm just assuming there's a spring off somewhere, maybe, hopefully. This is a unique model. It's only got uh, capital letters. This plus symbol doesn't apply because there is no shift button on this machine. So it's just got straight numbers, straight letters. It's a budget model from the 1920s. And uh, it's got the crank on the side here. Where you crank the basket up right here, that style. So, first thing I noticed was I need, I, of course, I gotta get the bottom off. The bottom is attached by these uh, feet right there. There's no screws, it's only held on by the rubber foot here, which is now hard as a rock and flat. So, the only way to remove this bottom is to separate these feet to remove it and uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that on camera here and get this thing apart I guess. So I'm going to try that first with a razor blade. Oh god that is hard as a rock. Just wants to chip right off. Uh, maybe I should have done this first. The bottom one here just fell apart just by manipulating it around or moving it. Oh, there goes the top one. There goes that one. There goes that one. There you go. So now I can get to the underside of this cutie and see what's going on here. Of course, here's the draw band or mainspring. Let's see if this is good. I, I'm going to assume it's good. Let's do a quick test on this first before we too much else. This string is tangled around the draw band that looks like. It's not wanting to turn. That string is I think bound up back there. Huh. Well that's I'll tell you what, this doesn't feel right at all. Let me pull this part out. So there's a string still stuck back in there. Let me see if I can pull it out. Let's see. This one's in here. Doesn't want to budge. Try this other side right here. Oh, it seemed like it did something. There we go. Come on. Okay, there it goes. That's, that is a good sign that it actually uh, sprung, sprung itself. So let's see. So to tighten the spring, you look at this. Looks like it tightens this way. And it looks like it's probably all right. It's winding up. You can see the spring in here. 
whining, and I'm going to assume it's good. Uh, it feels pretty good. It's tightening up pretty good, so I'm going to let it go here. Okay, main spring is good. Let's find out what's going on with the escapement. That's the primary thing I want to see if I can determine what's happening here. So I'm going to put the carriage part over here where it doesn't space. Right there. No, oh, no, no, it's working. I, I wonder if it was related to a. Uh, no, it's not working. Over here, but it does not work over here. It's, here it feels good. All the way across here. That's strange. Alright. Okay, let's look again. Let's see what we can feel see back here. I'm gonna put it on its back. It wants to push this uh, carriage release levers. Let me put something underneath it so I can jack it up here like that. Let's see if we can determine anything here. Yeah, nope, it's not working. Uh, I think I see the problem already the uh, looks like the escapement rack is you know directly connected to the release here and it's catching Catching on the edge of it. Huh. Okay. Okay, something is bent. You can see this rack. There's a gap. There's a gap right here. Let me get a tool here so I can point. The gap right here, you can see the daylight through here. Well, it looks even from this point of view now, but it's not from some point of view here so this has to be adjusted to not not go as close here because I got it to work here if I oops because one of those uh one of those feet so it was catching if you get any light down here okay it was catching on the bottom of this rack right here so there's the space it's catching right right there so if this rack was just sitting like this it would work see that For some reason it's going further in but over here it seems to be okay let's see I think it's just bent I have to figure out how it's bent that needs to be bent or formed. Let's use that word formed instead. Let's take a look at the back here. Let's see how it's uh, see how it's mounted here. I believe it's on this side. It's probably a problem here is probably on this side of the this rack right here. Okay, see there's a little stop tab right there. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something here. Let's see what I can use to prop this. So I'm gonna prop this open like this. Put a button in here. I'm gonna form this little piece right here. Forward. In fact, I'm just gonna try to bend it just like, or form it just like, let me put this piece in right here, I'm going to try to form this forward just a little bit, I 
so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bend the format, <laughs> the proper terminology here. I'm gonna form this little tab a little bit. Ooh, that, that bends really easy. Might have gone too far, but look at that, it's working. I will uh, we'll check that out further, but see now it's working over here. So it's pretty much this tab on this side kind of balances this out. Let me check and see if there's any kind of silencer in here for for that ratchet. It sounds kind of loud. doesn't look like there's a, a silencer it just pushes this paw right here that's probably what it sounds okay so that's fixed the raw band that I might do a different video on but that's pretty straightforward it looks about the same as some of these other Remington's and almost looks like a Corona type of draw band where it wraps around this pulley down here and goes over. Alright, let's look at the type bar up here. One last thing, real quick, see if we can see a spring off up in here. So we're looking for a spring maybe that's off. I see springs in there, but they all look, look like they're all in place. that be is that critical because once it's up baskets up it seems to be okay like that it's only when it drops back down that it sticks and it sort of feels like a bind but but not not really There's probably a, I don't know, maybe a secondary spring or something. So you can see the springs down in there. Way back. Way back in there. They all look like they're in place. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll have to uh, investigate that further. I was mostly worried about the escapement part of it. Off and see what's going on. So the serial number on this guy is right there. Does it say S11556? On a Remy Scout model. And the only other good thing about this is the uh, feed rollers are still good back here. They're old and original. These usually flatten up on Remingtons, but they're, these are still round right here. They're old and hard. Actually, they have more cushion than some. The platen is really grooved and hard. It doesn't feel too bad. It's actually got a, a slight bit of cushion. It's a pretty neat little machine. I have to do something with those feet to remount these. Uh, the bottom plate there. I'll have to figure something out there. But at least the uh, two major things. Mainspring and escapement are fixed. Uh, okay, so that's all I wanted to put on camera today. We will maybe uh, do a follow through video. Oh, look at this, it's got a little dollar sign right here. Cool. Pretty neat. Yeah, I'll maybe do a follow up video to show how it types with this uh, all capital type with the little plus on the top, which doesn't hit the paper, doesn't look like. Alright, that's our uh, video of the day. Phoenix typewriter. Good day.